Hello guys, welcome back to the jQuery chart sp.net controls. <coughs> Today we're gonna talk about the next two chart controls for the sp.net or you can also use this chart uh, in any other languages like PHP or uh, JSP. Right? It's uh, totally based on jQuery and JavaScript and Google APIs. Right? Today I'm gonna talk about the combo chart and the combinations of a multiple chart with the uh, event attachments okay let me show the demo of a combo chart first okay this is a simple combo chart we have a one two three four five and six series available okay uh, the first five series is for the column chart and the sixth series for the line chart okay that means you can combine the multiple series uh, in a single chart, okay, as well as we have a legend uh, for the particular. Suppose I'm clicking on here, it will get automatically selected, right? As usual, we have already we have already seen this in uh, my earlier videos, okay? So let's come back to the code, okay? Let's see how we can configure these kind of charts, okay? So here in my Visual Studio, we have a combo chart.html. As usual, we have imported uh, some packages that is a core chart and a method that is a draw visualizations, which is callback method by the Google object. Okay, which comes from the google.com slash js API. Right here, I have created a, a data table. That means it's an array which is converted to the data table. Okay, the first is my title, that is the month. And different different sections for my series okay and the last one is the average okay and uh, I want to show the average column as a line chart okay so here my options are available that is the title vertical axis that is cups right this is the vertical and the horizontal should be month right series type bar and the series number five that is the line type okay so the series index uh, should be start from zero zero to four that is the bar chart and the last one is for the line chart okay and just assign a combo chart a div in which do you want to render it and just draw it with the data and option okay it will get like this okay suppose I want to add one more line chart that is something like whatever I want to add one more column suppose like a percentage C E R C E N T A G E, right and uh, it's a uh, 20 60 40 45 and 80 right and after that here I have to set a comma and uh, one more series that is number six and I'm gonna set it line just control a fight okay see the bottom line it's a percentage we have set it right guys at once you can make a multiple charts in a single chart okay multiple series in a single chart right i hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe this channel and one more thing if you want to watch my earlier videos you can go on infologs.in slash videos here you can get all the videos for the free tutorials okay whatever the technology just go here search it you will get the video okay and uh, for my YouTube channels, here is the uh, updated uh, YouTube channels. Here, all kind of videos you can get. By the way, both are same because uh, this is the collections of a video tutorial as well as uh, examples. Right now, you can find it uh, examples for iOS and Android only. Okay, and coming days, we're gonna extend this with the other technologies too. Right? Till then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more updated video tutorials. Till then, bye bye. Thanks.